Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested. It is so cold in my house. It is so cold in the basement, which is where I am right now, that I went to grab a scarf to get myself a little warmer. I should have grabbed a hoodie and maybe a stocking cap. Maybe this will help. Anyway, I think we're gonna do a random ranking today, but oh man, I got good news. I just got, uh, I don't have enough time to do it tonight, but I, I got something I'm really excited about that I'm going to show. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow, the next day, or the next day. I don't know. Because I'm going to, I think it's going to be a long video. So I need a, a big chunk of time. Although there won't be much editing. So it is, I think I could probably, I could do it on a day where I'm busy. But anyway, I'm excited for it. Uh, but today we're going to do a regular random ranking. One of my most favorite type of videos to make where we go to my movie collection behind me and then we pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite. How much do we even need cold once Christmas is over? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, um, I'm just ready for spring. I'm ready for spring. I just, I don't, I don't need the cold once, once Christmas is, well, I don't know. It's, I guess it can be nice on New Year. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm indifferent towards the temperature on New Year, but, um, you know, I don't, once Christmas is over, I don't need it anymore. That's where I'm at. In January and February, February are just too cold. March is even too cold sometimes. Anyway, let's get to picking those movies. Let's go, you know what, let's, let's bring it down to this area, then... Let's do whatever this film is, and then maybe whatever. Ooh, ooh I don't, this is packed here. I haven't chosen from this section at all. That was, those were some tight films there. Let's make sure I've seen them. Yes, oh yeah. And ooh, man, it's been so long. I think I need to, I haven't watched this since I was a little kid, Mermaids. So we're going to put Mermaids to the side, because I need to give that one a rewatch. My aunt was a big fan of Mermaid. She introduced me to that movie when I was a kid. Oh, I feel that one has the I have not watched tag on it. All right, let's do whatever this is. Have I seen it? Yes, I have. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first, we're going to start off with effing Chuck Norris. We're going to start off with Dodgeball. I worked at a movie theater when this came out, and it was really fun um, to watch people stick around after the credits uh, because there's like an after credit scene with Ben Stiller uh, bringing his milkshake to the yard and such. Uh, Vince Vaughn is so funny in this. I think this, well, I was going to say this was like my favorite of him, but I don't know. I think I like, um, what's the one, uh, old school. He's very funny in that, but I don't know. He's very good in this too. He, I, this was a great time period when the frat pack was in charge of comedy um in in hollywood and it was great uh lots of uh steve the pirate right i mean that's such a bizarre weird strange thing and it makes me laugh i love it i think it's good um uh alliteration aside though um i, I didn't do any of that <laughs> there was none of that happening in what i was saying it was just quoting the movie here but uh gosh I, I don't know. I just think this movie is very funny. Um, it, that came out, and what else came out? Uh, this was 2004, because I worked at the movie theater. Was that, that was Anchorman also? Yeah, Anchorman came out at the same time, and I remember there was kind of like a, you know, not like a mean battle or anything like that, but just kind of a, you know, dodgeball or Anchorman, dodgeball or Anchorman. And I think I was in the Anchorman camp... I don't know. I like them both, but I think I like Anchorman more, but I've seen Anchorman more also, which makes me want to watch this one more, you know, that sort of thing. Next we have a made for TV movie, but I think it's my favorite made for TV movie ever. And that is Gotti. Look at that. Armand Asante. Why does, uh, uh, Tim Allen in the Santa Claus when he's checking his list, checking it twice, he sees this man on the naughty or nice list. Armand 
Asante? What, what, what was the, what, like, what does that joke even mean? I don't understand it. I mean, it makes me laugh, I guess because of the randomness of it, but why does he do that? Anyway, Armando Asante plays John Gotti, and this is not the one with uh, John Travolta. This is a, an amazing movie. It's a great film. I used to watch this all the time, all right, and I used to rent it because, um, you know, I, I don't remember being available for purchase, uh, but I would always have it uh, rent, rent it on VHS. I was just like, I don't know, uh, um, captivated by this story, and it really it got me interested in the mafia. You know, other people, it might be movies like The Godfather or you know, Goodfellas and stuff like that. But for me, it was it was this movie and it's still my my favorite of those uh, mafia gangster style films. Okay, next we have The Informant. Uh, this one's interesting because this actually happened next door to me, took place, the, the, real, the real story, uh, not that far away from where I live. So this is about price fixing of corn syrup. <laughs> Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Um, but I just love Matt Damon's face on there. And actually, I think this is a terrible cover, but it does kind of show the naiveness of this character. He's like, he's like naive, but he also is like gets, he, he, it's kind of like Fargo. It's kind of like, um, William H. Macy and Fargo is almost like what he's doing here. He's like naive and a criminal at the same time. And I think he's still in prison. Um, he's always asking for pardons. Uh, but he, I don't know, it was weird because he was like, he saved all of us from paying uh, even higher prices for anything with corn syrup in it because it was like, um, I don't know, companies in, in China and America were, were fixing uh, the prices of corn syrup when selling them, like they were working together, like, hey, let's both raise prices, you know, so it wasn't like true market value or something like that. And he uh, saw that this was happening and got evidence that it was happening and um, basically, you know, spoke with the FBI or whoever it was that was looking into this and then put a stop to it. But he was also doing, doing criminal things on the side as he was being an informant for the FBI or CIA or FBI or whoever. So it was just like, I don't know, it was weird. But yeah, this just took place uh, a couple towns over from me. And it's just kind of funny that that town has a, a movie based on it. All right, so here we go. How are we gonna rank them? And they filmed some of it there too. Like you, you, go, um, if you go to Decatur, Illinois, you'll meet some people who met Matt Damon. All right, so how are we gonna rank them? Uh, wow, I just picked up, you know, I think this is the order we, oh, no, what am I doing? Okay, I think this is the order we're going to do here. I love the informant, though. It's good. It being at three is not um, me saying anything bad about the film. Let me see, is this a Soderbergh movie? I'm pretty sure Soderbergh directed it. It was directed by, um, it was directed by, Come on. Yep, Steven Soderbergh. All right, so yeah, I think we're going to go Gotti on this as number one. It's nostalgic. It really got me into mafia movies, and I just think it's really good. And then we're going to go Dodgeball, the comedy, the jokes, the the, the Vince Vaughn humor, um, the, the, the quotable-ness of it all. All of that is great. And then we're going to end off with The Informant, which, again, does not mean anything bad. Can Look at these movies. Look at the coloration. We have the oranges, uh, the yellows, those warm colors happening with all of them. How did we do that? How did we pick it? It's serendipitous, it is. It's like fate. It's like, it's like maybe I should buy a lottery ticket or something. Like, if for something like this to happen um, is just amazing. How many movies do I have in my collection? An enormous amount. But I just picked these three at random. And the coloration, these are random films, but the colors work so well together. They are unified through the use of warm colors in their packaging. I love that. That is fantastic. It's wonderful. It's something I could have never expected, but I'm just glad it happened here. Um, with these randomly chosen films from my collection.
it's great. So yeah, one more time, Gotti, then we're gonna go um, Dodgeball, and Rip Torn's in, in that movie too, and he's funny. And then we're gonna go The Informant. So, my question to you is, have you seen these films? And if so, what do you think of them? If you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.